at the uh, newest member to our family. <laughs> She's a very speed hump. Hey. <laughs> you wouldn't even feel it. What hey? are you talking about? Uh, have you got me in screen? Yes, darling. You got the car in screen? I've got the car in screen. Welcome, viewers. We've got some exciting news. Sarge bought himself a Christmas present. <laughs> Yay. So, the bushwhacker. I've got to watch out, don't step on Lulu. The Bushwhacker 270 awning. Great product. I researched a lot of uh, awnings. There was one out there from the Bush Company I really wanted to get, but it was out of my price reach. This was 1100 bucks or 1194 with the brackets. So I put a picture of the brackets up. Um, I went the over-engineered heavy-duty brackets. You can go just heavy-duty, but I just wanted to have that extra assurance. The freight costs more than the brackets, but we won't go there. Um, so this is the third version. So they've tweaked it a lot from their initial version a few years back, and I'll show you a bit like that later. But the reason I got it was the ease of access of having Sarge to do it without losing his temper. So um, we'll go through it. I'll put the timer on. It should take 60 seconds or maybe a bit over a minute, but we'll see how we go. I've only done it, this will be my third time. So, bushwhacker. 270 degree awning. And start. And as I talk through, which you probably can't hear me because the microphone's all the way there, I should have wore a cordless mic. So beautiful he's, clips. He's unclipping it now and he's pulling it out. As you can see, it goes all the way around to the back of the car. So that gives some very nice shade. It secures very quickly and easily on the back side of the car. You can see so. And how good's that? Done. Has done. He's done. He's done. So this is what he's been securing it with around this side. Yeah, it comes with a ratchet, uh, a hook ratchet custom made for the awning. And you just loosen, tighten it there. You can tighten it to, I've just tightened it to an eyelet off the rhino rack. But and it's got, it's taut there. It's a ratchet system, locking system to unloosen it. You just do that and it's unloosed. And that's it there. That's it. It is a bit, I think it needs to be a bit higher, the gear. But anyway, you don't need poles. Um, unless you're getting into the 25 kilometer winds, and I wouldn't really want to stay out anywhere where there's 25 kilometer winds, you can chop this pole down. It comes with it. And there you go. And look at the amount of shade you get here, guys. Yeah. I think that's a bit uneven. But anyway, um, also, it's got these loops for drainage. You also got tie down hooks, so you are in heavy winds, you can tie it down. Your hinges, come over here Nurso. Now this is what they've upgraded, the hinge part on the 270. So this has got the uh, reinforced hinges here. The one thing I would like to see, not on here, but a little pole up there just to get that moisture off. The best thing about this is the clips. What was that? Nothing. Yeah. The clips, heavy duty clips. Pretty good. And you can get the walls. So you also Velcro stuff here too, by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, there's Velcro all the way back. around. So on Bushwhacker site, you can actually get the walls. Um, yeah. But I'd probably only get one or two. Well, like you say, you don't want to be out in the wind so yeah. much that you have to put the walls up. Maybe for rain, but. Yeah. But um, very good. How good's that? Very Installing good. Installing it, I did it myself. Three goes. Only because I was paranoid about the weight. It weighs about 23 kilos. Okay, I've got it on the rear flat flat platform there. I put a third right angle, which you're not supposed to, but I did. But then I, I was worried about the flex between the two platforms, and then I got told to take it off. It only needs the two angles, the two brackets, sorry. But that's it, yeah. So it's pretty good. 
got our disco lighting under there. It'll be good. No more frustrating pulling out the side awning, poles falling everywhere, nurse not being tall enough, and all that. And as you can see from the camera angles today, she is nowhere, nowhere near, near tall enough. Tall enough. No. I'm just showing you the view. <laughs> How's the serenity, people? How's the serenity? So if you want to see it packed up, I can pack it up. Go on, pack it up, please. Pack it up, no, Nurse. We've got to go. We've got to go. Oh, There's the wind coming. Up. There's some rain coming Ooh, or my, something. My Christmas decorations are getting in the way. <laughs> All right. That, that. That. <laughs> These clips hold it in the place uh, out because they get they can get caught there's a bit of what I like about this bag I think they improved the bag too because it's got a bit more room to put stuff in so if you've got lights or extra poles or fishing rods it's not a real tight um, cover like I found on the others so yeah that done, that done, and then it's just that's it. Well, that's it. Oh, my hair, my hair, my hair. Ow! Oh. Ow. So, we'd like to welcome our new member, Lulu. Hello, this is Lulu the Shoodle. If you're looking for Sarge, he's uh, looking for Alba. If you're looking for Alba, he's, he's hiding somewhere because Lulu just, yeah, bugs the shit out of him. Bugs the shit out of him. Anyway, we like to wish you and your families a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, and thanks for following us on our adventures this year. There'll be plenty of more. Yeah. Um, yeah, more to follow. Stay safe. Stay safe. Have fun. Don't drink too much. As nurse, nurse is giving a lecture and now. And enjoy time with your family and friends. Yeah. And um, In this beautiful country of ours. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you, Lily. Hi. <laughs>